So I'm currently in the process of making my boyfriend a cheese quesadilla. Oh, and full makeup, by the way. Cheese quesadilla proof. Anywho, I am, it's after midnight, right? So I am on day three of my pre-operative liquid diet and I haven't cheated yet. I want to. So I am on day three of my pre-op liquid diet and it's actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. Um, I have some pluses and I have a lot of negatives that I'm going to get into. Uh, yeah. So I know I said that I was going to be posting a video a day and I've literally been completely swamped these last two days of work. Um, I just recently got a promotion. So I've been dealing with that and trying to get like acclimated to the additional parts of my role. <clears throat> But let me go over my pluses first. So my biggest plus is that in three days, I've lost seven pounds. I don't even know how that's possible, but I have lost seven pounds. Not put my weight on here yet, but I will once I start my surgery. Um, another plus is I am actually sleeping a lot better. Um, if you guys recall, I had a week off between um, my surgery date and starting my pre-op liquid diet again. And during that week, I'm not even going to lie, guys. I ate like crap. I ate like crap. Um, I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I felt like, oh, here's an opportunity to have a real food funeral because I didn't have one previously. I don't know how many of you guys know what a food funeral is, but it's basically what people who are about to get weight loss surgery do. They eat everything that they think they're never going to be able to have again. You will still have those foods. It will just be smaller portions. That's it. Um, it says a lot about how you eat and how you live depending on your food funeral. So I thought I was just going to eat all types of food. I was going to have all kinds of snacks. I tried to eat a bag of Skittles, threw it. Haven't had sugar in like six months. Um, I ate some tacos and those went down well, but when I tried to eat a bowl of cereal, I got sick. It was super weird. So I was like, maybe I'm not having a food funeral. So I started my liquid diet a whole day early. So technically I'm on day four, but realistically I'm on day three. Um, let's talk about some negatives, some negatives. So I bought a lot of different things to get me ready this time around because this time around my diet is supposed to be clear liquids. So I got isopure, um, I got isolate zero, I got um, protein 2O and all of them are gross you guys. I can't stomach them. There's too much sugar in everything I bought but the absolute worst has to be isopure. It is effing disgusting it tastes like i'm licking someone's butt i've never licked butt before but that's what it tastes like seriously i've never licked butt before but if isopure had an ass i've literally been sipping on it all damn day Ugh. anyway um another negative is I'm on the liquid diet this time around. I've been on a modified diet for about six months and I'm still getting the worst questions from people. So um, as you guys know, prior to me making this YouTube channel, I wasn't telling people what I was doing. I just told people I was on a diet, which I was, but I didn't tell them what it was for. I was losing weight and people were like, what are you doing? Exercising, getting eight hours of sleep, eating better foods, which is all true. But now that I'm on the liquid diet, it seems like it personally offends people. And that's really, really strange to me. Why is the fact that I'm not eating food such a big issue for you? Well, I've discovered that it's probably a couple of things. One, people are uncomfortable with things they don't understand. So a lot of people don't understand why I'm on the liquid diet, so it bothers them. Two, um, people don't like things that are different. So have you ever noticed like, and I never had to actually like personally deal with this, but growing up, if someone was different, those are the people who are more likely to get bullied and stuff, right? So the fact that I am not eating all the cake and the candy and the cookies, especially with it being around Christmas time, everyone is just like, why? Why are you doing this? Have this sandwich, eat this chicken. Are you eating real food again? I literally had somebody ask me that the other day. They said, are you eating solid food now? No, 
I'm eating Jello with protein added, which by the way is a plus because it's delicious and it's one of my cats. That's Arya and I'm literally surrounded by three. Anywho, so like I was saying, I had people asking me when I was going to eat real food again. Um, am I dying? Am I starving myself to death? Why am I doing this? And this is at work, right? And at work, a lot of people don't know what I'm doing. There are some people who do know, but it's not something that I talk about with everyone. I even had somebody ask me today if I was pregnant and that's why I wasn't eating foods. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm getting weight loss surgery. So I'm sure she meant well, but it made me think that maybe I need to just tell more people. Um, I think the biggest reason why I haven't told a lot of people at work is because I'm afraid that if my boss hears about it, like my time off won't get approved because I'm not taking short-term disability. I don't think I'll need that much time, so I don't want to take all that time off. And I'm sorry that the camera's so shaky. I'm like scratching my arm. But... um I'm just concerned. I'm still a little concerned about being judged, especially by people I work with. Um, so there's that. Another really big plus is besides the fact that I am losing weight, um, honestly, just going pee is a more pleasant experience. Um, I know it's probably TMI, but people don't drink water. Everyone I know, like, barely drinks water. People act like it's poison. I drink water, and I go to the bathroom, and it's like, there's no sense of urgency, if that makes sense. And I don't know if this is a direct result of the diet that I'm on, but that's another plus in my book. So, it's day three, or technically day four, of my pre-op liquid diet. Um, I have my pre-op appointment with my surgeon on Monday, which is, honestly, it's a bunch of BS. It's so he can get more money. I'm literally going to come in, talk to him, get weighed, probably see him for five minutes and give him $50. On Wednesday, I have my actual pre-op appointment with my hospital and my surgery team. And we'll be at the halfway point. So I'm really excited to make it to that point. Uh, again, you guys, um, this is a very short video, but I want to thank you guys for watching and being patient with me. And look at her going to sleep. It's like... It's like 1.30 in the morning, so I'm about to go to sleep, but I appreciate you guys watching and taking part in my journey. Um, if you have questions, as always, do not hesitate to reach out to me at journey at gmail.com, and I'll put that right here and in the description box below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and again, thanks for watching.